Julia Computing introduces an addition to its Julia Sim product, DFT Surrogates. We're going to be using Julia Sim's latest development, DFT Surrogates, to learn how we can accelerate material science and battery modeling with machine learning. DFT, or density functional theory, refers to the computational method of investigating properties of complex multi-electron systems by modeling their quantum mechanical structures. It is one of the most accurate ways of predicting materials properties and has seen wide application in physics, chemistry, and material sciences. It's also a very computationally expensive technique, with the simulation and training over a single crystal structure taking on the order of hours of CPU time. Julia Sims DFT surrogates provides machine learning surrogates that are able to predict material properties to the same accuracy as DFT, but are orders of magnitude faster to train and infer. A popular technique in the sphere is the crystal graph convolution neural network, which represents the crystal structure by a crystal graph to encode atomic information and bonding interactions between atoms. A convolution neural network is employed on this graph, and the model is trained using the data generated by a DFT. Julia Sim DFT surrogates has already successfully accelerated battery development. Here's an example where a baseline DFT simulation of 15 structures took 12 hours. It took 1 hour 30 minutes to train a surrogate, mean square error was 0.001, and the surrogate prediction time was 55 microseconds. Now, let's walk through an example of how this can be achieved in your workflow. To begin, we'll go to juliahub.com and launch Julia Sim IDE. And from there, we import the packages that we'll be using which include DFT surrogates, molecular graph, chemistry featurization, and model library base. DFT surrogates can read in smile strings using the smiles to mole function. We can also convert this mole object to an atom graph. In order to read data from CIF and XYZ files, we can make use of the atom graph function, which can take a file name as an argument. Now that we have our atom graph object, we can choose how we want to featureize this molecule. In this tutorial, we'll use a graph convolution model, so we would go with a graph node featureization. We simply call into the graph node featureization function and give it a list of features we're looking to extract. Now that we have a featureization scheme, as well as an atom graph, we can featureize our molecule. The result is our featureized atoms object. Now we can load the model. DFT surrogates use the model library base protocol to load the surrogates, as consistent with other surrogates found in JuliaSim. This particular surrogate is trained on the materials project dataset and predicts the formation energy per atom feature. We can now call our model with the featureized atoms object from the previous steps, and there we have it. We've successfully run an inference pass on a custom molecule using a pre-trained surrogate. This has been a quick look into Julia Sim's latest offering, DFT Surrogates. Stay tuned for more.